And welcome everyone to a Pac-12 chat. I'm Andy Katz, pleased to be joined by David Jenkins Jr. from Utah. Off to a great start, leading the Utes with 15 a game. He uh, played pretty well, 25 against Bethune-Cookman. So the Utes are 3-0. and And David's had some experience against his current head coach, Craig Smith, dropping, uh, what, 30? Uh, you've had him a couple different times when you're at South Dakota State and UNLV. Uh, so first off, why do you think it's gone so well so early at Utah? Man, um, honestly, I just, as I mentioned a couple of times before, even just to my teammates, I think we just, um, we have a bunch of guys on the team that have um, no egos, just guys who want to be there, guys who are just high on winning. And I just feel like when you got a team like that, guys who aren't worried about their own individual statistics or own individual, you know, aspirations, I just feel like, you know, it makes everything come together and it makes everything come together quickly. And I think one essential thing for us uh, more than anything is the fact that we're just so close on off the court and what people don't fail to realize is that translates to on the court success so much. So um, I just think personally, we're so close and um, we genuinely love to get to know one or another off the court. So um, I just think it all translates, man, and why it's working so um, so early. All right. So I, I'm curious about the recruitment here. Craig Smith sees you twice, two different schools, and you burn them multiple times at Utah State. Uh, how did that go to where you say, you know what? Yeah, I want to play for you. Yeah, um, man, it's funny you say that. Um, when I was at South Dakota State, Coach Craig was the head coach at South Dakota, and those were our oh, rivals. I'm sorry, yeah, South and, Dakota. Yeah, and so, I mean, every time I just always had a respect for how he coached and how he went about it, man. He just always had – he was always poised. Um, I always had high character and charisma, and I remember when we would shake hands after the game, I would always circle around and shake his hand again just because I have respect for him. Um, and same thing kind of when he was at Utah State, and I was at UNLV. We were in the same conference and same type deal. We would shake hands. I would always go around and shake his hand again. Coach, really respect the way you coach. And, and I just think he always got the best out of each and every player, no matter if it was a star player or, or a role player. He just he gets the best out of every single player. And that's something I really wanted to be a part of. And when I seen I was in the portal and when he got the job at Utah, I was like, man, this would be a great chance. And then our coach, um, one of my assistant coaches here at UN, or that was at UNLV with me, Coach DeMarlo Slocum, I took the assistant job at Utah as well. I just played, man, this would be a perfect situation for me. So, look, you guys are off to a great start, as I said. But the competition is going to go up. You're heading to a tournament uh, where, uh, you know, clearly with Boston College, Rhode Island, Tulsa, um, it'll be a little tougher than what you faced. And then BYU. BYU has played great, obviously. They just knocked off Oregon. Sure. And then you're going to open the Pac-12 at USC. How ready is this Utah team for the schedule to get tougher? Man, one thing that I really like about this team is, and I've been on, obviously, this is my third team. Um, it's hard to be a part of a team where people, um, I think we just do a good job of not playing down to our competition. Um, I think every day we practice our daily habits um, and, and we're, we're prepared for each and every team. Um, when we go in and we do our scouting and our film, we make sure we know everything in the depth. Our coaches do a good job of breaking every single thing down. And I think more than anything, more than any team I've been on, this is the most team that's been prepared. And that goes back to why I wanted to be a part of, um, you know, uh, with Craig Smith. I just think he does a good job of, of preparing his players for each and every game. So no matter if it was Bethune-Cookman or no matter if it's Boston College or BYU, I just think more than anything, we're going to be, we're going to be prepared for each and every team. So um, I'm really excited to really get some like really good competition going on. All right. Last thing, David, you go from the summit to the mountain West to the PAC 12. So you are climbing up. How has your, your game evolved at each stop? Yeah. Um, I think obviously I'm, I'm older. So um, I think the game to me has slowed down a lot more. Um, at South Dakota state, it was obviously, you know, I, I love being there and I like playing in, you know, the Summit League, but I just think I obviously I want to take my game to a new level um, and I really wanted to um, challenge myself. So that's why I ended up going to UNLV um, in the Mountain West, which is a better conference, um, and then going to the Pac-12, which is an even better conference, one of the best conferences in the country. Um, but I think my game, more than anything, I just think I have more of a mature game. I think I get my shots a lot easier now. Um, I think when I was younger, I would always try to force things and, um, you know, always try to take the tough shot compared to just taking sometimes the catch and shoot if it's there there's no need to take a dribble into a shot or anything like that. So I think um, I get my shots a lot easier. I don't have to work as hard for my buckets. Uh, all credit to my coaches. But um, I think more than anything, man, I just think the game has slowed down for me. I'm mature. And I think I do a better job of uh, playmaking overall um, just because of the simple fact that the game slowed down for myself. So um, I think that's uh, the biggest part of my game that's changed.
Well, I appreciate it, David. You're off to a great start. Let's hope it continues for Utah. My man, thank you for really inviting me. I appreciate it.